Hey guys, welcome to uh, Green Fair Gardens, I think I called this one. Um, this is just a, a quick little series um, that I'm going to be doing over the next, I guess the next couple of weeks. Um, just as a, not, not really as a break from Gold Rush Junction, but I saw this park scenario on Reddit. And basically what it is, is a tiny little park. Um, I'm not really sure who um, who set up this contest, um, but I will find out before I post the video live and I'll put it in the comments, in the little um, information section. Um, but basically it's a tiny little park. The object of it is to try and just build, a, I guess, a little theme park um, outside of an airport. Um, and it is really small, and I think on this video you're gonna see me mapping out the 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 outer edges so I can get a fair idea of size and, and that sort of thing that we're working with because it is really tiny. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to um, just sort of go through the first section of this park. I'm thinking it will maybe be about be about maybe three or four episodes um, will do to complete this one. Um, but yeah, so I thought it was a nice little challenge, it's a nice little park, um, and I, I, I sort of, I wanted to make it obviously very pretty looking, and given the fact that it is so tiny, this, this sort of, um, the, the scenery needs to be a little bit more in-depth, I guess, um, so we're going with that, not really having a, a sort of theme to start with in terms of the scenery theme, it was more generic, um, so we'll just get um, in this episode a few flat rides down, a little bit of a, a, of a food court area, um, and I'll build up the main uh, the, the main sign for the, the front of the park, uh, which I did end up calling Green Fair Garden. I think the, the idea behind this park, I guess, would have started maybe as um, sort of a, a, a block of land that maybe was used for um, circuses and that sort of thing and, and someone's come in and made it a permanent um, little amusement park um, but yeah I actually really like how it's turned out so far um, it's it, it's not really what I normally go with there's a lot lot of detail in this one I'm just trying to keep it um, you know I don't want it to be a, a, a series that's going to be over in two episodes you know, so I think we're sort of going with maybe four episodes until this one's finished. Um, and I'll build maybe a, a little junior coaster at the end. Um, but yeah, so in this section here, I'm just building up the, the scenery for the chairlift. And again, I have just gone for more of a nature type um, theme around this. And I actually, these blue lights here, I actually really loved. I thought the white lights are a little too much and I think the blue really goes with the rocks and the, the water and that sort of stuff for this section. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not really um, sort of sure where I'm going to go with the direction of um, after this episode. I have done some more recording after this. Um, so I'll try and get that episode out in the next day or two. Um, again, we're working on uh, Gold Rush Junction, which I have um, got about, I think, about two hours worth of recorded footage already. So I'm going to work on that and, again, try and get another video out for that in the next couple of days. Um, but other than that, um, I do apologise if you can hear my fan in the background. It is very hot here in Brisbane at the moment. It's about, it's been about early 30s Celsius. Um, all week and we're not even sort of into the you know the main part of summer so it's gonna get hotter and it's not very nice but we'll deal with it um, so yeah so with the dodgems here I wanted to keep the, the skin of it very simple but effective I guess um, with the brick layout I actually really like the the rough brick um, I used on this one and Again, just keeping it simple. I mean, things like the rides like the Dodgems have um, very little need to actually have a skin on them, but I wanted to section it off a little bit um, just to sort of give it a little bit of a theme feel. Um, 
so yeah so again I'm going to um, sort of um, use a brick layout a little bit more um, on this park than I normally do I normally use a wood the wood pieces but I just think that they're a little bit easier to use they look a little bit nicer but I figured with this park it's a little bit different I thought I would change things up a little bit um, I also had an idea about how to do the roof on this section and I decided it didn't really work so I decided to get rid of it um, so yeah so with this little um, section here I did end up um, which you'll see in a second I did end up uh, doing a similar thing to what I did on the other side with the little pond um, and the little bridge going over um, but again this is sort of uh, um, decorating buildings like this is sort of new to me um, I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos as I have explained in a couple of my other videos just to try and get a better idea of how to use different PCs to make things look slightly different so I mean to me this building looks like maybe an old farmhouse style building um, with the, the, the wooden um, the, the wooden beams on the the, the stone walls um, and I just wanted to put a little bit of a planter in there just to decorate it a little bit, but not too much detail. Um, you know, you sort of watch some people on YouTube and they just go absolutely crazy on detail and it looks great. But I just don't, A, have the patience to do it and B, I don't really know where to start with those sort of things. Um, I have only just, I would say, within the last maybe six months um sort of gained the confidence to be able to do rock work and that sort of stuff like this um but again it was just sort of playing around and and this is i mean this is a great thing about planet coaster um it is one of those games where you can always learn different ways to do things you have sort of when you when you start you you learn your own ways to do things and then you watch other people and you know it's always great and i i always recommend people to watch other videos um on and just to get ideas because again you know it, it is a game where the outcome of what you're doing is solely based on your creativity level um you know some days you're just not really into it um and i do go through periods of you know maybe um a few weeks where i just have no inspiration i have no sort of want to play the game I guess um you know I'll sort of jump on there and fiddle around a little bit and then go mm, I don't really know where I'm going with this and I'll give up and then I'll try and play something else I'll play the sims and then I'll get tired of that one and I'll come back to planet costa and then I'll get tired of that and I'll go to city skylines and yeah I mean I guess it's a normal thing for most people with in terms of this type of game, because it's not, th th there's not a story to it, like a lot of, um, other games, um, you, you know, this is solely based on your creations, and how you see different things, so, again, I do apologise if the, if what I'm building is sort of similar to, um, Gold Rush Junction, especially, I think, this little food court area here, I've just lowered it a little bit like it did in Gold Rush Junction, but, I found that I really liked how it turned out, um, and as well, obviously, we have very limited space in this little park, so it sort of is, has made it a little bit more difficult to build larger um, scale um, scenery designs and that sort of thing, but um, we'll go with this for now, and you know, I might end up changing some things, I think I haven't actually changed anything off camera yet with this one, whereas with Gold Rush Junction I did a lot of umming and eyeing about what I was going to keep on there, and um, yeah, but I think with the, um, the, the smallness of this park is actually maybe a good thing, I actually think maybe with Gold Rush Junction I might uh, downscale it a little bit, uh, just because then it wouldn't seem as daunting I think, um, but again, we'll see how we go, um, with this little food court section here, I wanted to change it up a little bit, so I've gone with the, the wood panels for the building, 
um, and I really like this um, sort of yellow, light yellow lemony colour for them. I think it's just a little bit different. It's not as as bright and you know it doesn't stand out quite as much as what say white would. Um, but again, decorating this it's sort of new for me. Um, normally in the past I would just leave this sort of as it is. Um, but I figured I'll put some extra beams on it, a little bit more decoration to make it sort of stand out a little bit more. Um, and that's something that I'm definitely working on. I mean, I'm watching um, some videos at the moment um, just to try and get some more ideas on how to build things, make buildings look a little bit different. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it, it is a challenge for me doing this YouTube channel, but I'm actually really enjoying it and I'm, I'm very pleased and a little bit surprised with how many views I've had on my first few videos um, so thank you to everyone who has watched because it, it is definitely um, built on my confidence a little bit knowing that I'm still you know getting people watching these videos and, and as I've said before this is the first time that I've done anything like this um, and I absolutely hate the sound of my own voice so it is that in itself is a challenge for me to edit these videos you know having to go back and listen to myself and um yeah um I'm also not really sure what happened here there's a little pause there but that's all right um so yeah I mean the first the first time I had to edit the first very first video I actually said to my husband is that really what I sound like I was really surprised and shocked because I've never had to listen to my own voice before um with this section here, this is what I'm going to do with the main sign for um, Green Fair Garden. I got this um, this sign here just online. Um, I did it as like a logo generator thingy and just snipped it and thought, hmm, it doesn't really look right blown up. It's sort of, you know, the, the pixels aren't quite right. Um, so I thought I'd make my own sign here, um, which I actually think turned out really well. I really like how it did turn out. Um, it's not perfect, but again, I, this is something that I'm learning. I never really work with art shapes. Um, just, I just found them far too fiddly. Um, I've tried to do them before, but I just, I can't really get into it. I prefer to use buildings more, um, you know, that snap together and that sort of thing, but... Um, I actually think this turned out really well, um, and I was going to colour it a different colour, but I actually think that the sort of the light green actually turns out really well. So I'm just going to finish this off here. Um, I'll put a few screenshots of what we've done so far, and I will see you in the next episode. <laughs> 